Okay, so at Dennis, we decided to create an in-house video team. Uh, we employed um, initially one uh, videographer. We've now got up to six uh, videographers working for us full time. Uh, we have a central team and then what they do is they, they do a combination of directing, um, all the filming and also the production for each video that we produce. So we decided to build our own in-house studio for a number of reasons. Um, one is the fact that when we were looking to hire facilities, when we needed studio time, uh, they can be quite expensive to use. Um, and But do you know what? A lot of the reason really was just the convenience of it. Um, you suddenly have somebody, and as a, a you know a reasonable sized publishing company like us, we get constant access to interesting people uh, or products. Um, and just suddenly realizing actually it'd be great to just grab 10 minutes of video with this person or, or let's get something shot really quickly about the new iPhone 6 which just happens to be in the building or whatever that might be. Um, a lot of it is the convenience of it, not having to worry about trying to find a, a studio and hiring it and the logistics around it, just being able to pop into a, into a room here, I'm making it sound a lot easier than it probably is, but you, you get the idea, um, is really convenient. And so I, I think it's allowed us to, to get all sorts of, um, of, of footage that we wouldn't otherwise have managed to achieve. So it's the first thing. In terms of the, the cost and how it was done, we did obviously a business plan for it. Um, it wasn't insignificant in terms of, of cost because we had things like uh, an infinity wall and, um, and obviously green screen, screen facilities and lighting rigs and all that sort of stuff in there. But it wasn't that much. And if you think about the size of our digital business, which is um, going to be sort of 15 million pounds this year, um, you know, that really does pay dividends. Um, it's, it's very easy to see a return on investment on that. Commercially, with our video, we do two different things, uh, Dennis. Um, so one is um, native advertising. You can call it content, um, marketing, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we produce a lot of video content as part of our bigger sort of campaigns, integrated campaigns with our, uh, with our advertisers. Um, and in fact, most of our big integrated content partnerships include some element of video. Uh, for a number of reasons. One, it's really engaging uh, content and so consumers like it, uh, but also it's what we're really good at um, and it gives us some standout from our competitors, I believe. And probably a good example to give of some recent activity we've done is with the Volkswagen Group. Uh, so their brief was really to tie into their Well Worth It campaign where they're trying to demonstrate the quality of buying a, um, a VW uh, car uh, in an incredibly competitive market, um, but they are really good quality products they wanted to get that messaging across stitched in a zigzag pattern for greater strength. This technique eliminates weak points. And so we shot a series of videos and produced the content hub for them. Um, and I think what's really fascinating about that is that um, uh, the engagement rates have been amazing with the videos. So uh, on average, the videos that we've produced for them have had a, a view time of four, point, um, four minutes, four seconds, uh, which is about 80% of the video being watched all the way through. Um, and if you compare that, that would stand up very well against almost anybody's editorial content that they produce. So, so I just think it's really important as well to think that when you're producing native uh, content and video content, you've got to make sure it's, it's really good quality and stuff that people want to consume. But if you get it right, it really helps to reinforce a brand's messaging. So that's the first thing we do. The second thing we do is we actually offer our video production services as a standalone service. So we're beginning to do increasing work for people like uh, Bounty, would be a good example of someone we work with quite a lot where there's no media involvement at all with the, uh, with the video. We are just producing and offering our video production services in a really cost-effective and right quality way um, to, uh, to our other companies who want to produce video for their, for their businesses. And when I say right quality, what I mean by that is if you go to a Western agency, could they produce better quality than us? Possibly, but they will charge you 10 times as much. And so what we do is the right quality of content for the audience that we're trying to reach it's professional, it's well produced, but at the same time it comes in a cost-effective way. So we took a decision at Dennis to uh, embed the YouTube player into our own owner-operator sites. Um, and the, really the reason for that is, um, although you have more control if you have your, your own in-house player or you license a separate player, um, they cover all the bandwidth, they have fantastic bitrate detection, they have um, true view so you, that uh, consumers can skip adverts. Um, it's kind of what they do. And so uh, partly I feel that we've made the right decision embedding the, the YouTube player. And then in terms of distribution, you've got a fish with a fish out. Um, uh, everybody goes to YouTube to, to watch video, the size of the, the brand. I want my brands to be consumed as much as possible. We also use it as a source of referral. So we get people to come back from YouTube, back to our sites. 
and we annotate our, our videos. We've spent a lot of time working with YouTube. Well, I've got to say, they've been really good with us and trying to encourage us to, uh, to improve the quality of the, the content that we produce and also to show us how to get more subscribers and how to drive people back to your owner operator sites. So for me, um, I feel that's the right strategy for us. Um, and again, it's one of the, the sort of services that we can offer to other publishers as well. <laughs> so the way that we produce um, um, video around around content uh, at Dennis Publishing in a number of ways. So first of all, there's the sort of scheduled element. So if you take something like Car Buyer, Car Buyer is our, our um, in-market car buying uh, website and video content is absolutely fundamental to the way people are going to be considering which car to buy. It's a very um, you know, a, a design-led and tactile kind of product and so you can get so much more, you can convey so much more in a video than you can in a, in a written word. So you want to talk about the size of the boot. Well in print you can say it's 400 litres and in video um, you can actually show it and you can put luggage into it and really get a much better idea about how, it's, uh, and how, it, how big it is. So um, with products like that there is a very well-refined scale schedule of video production. Um, every main car uh, has a, a, um, a, a video review so that consumers can make an informed decision about which car to buy. So every week there's a number of reviews going out like that. So that's the first kind of piece, this sort of regular scheduled uh, piece where it's really important just the fundamental you know, way that the site works. The second part is when you have specials and that might take the form of a, um, a motor show in motoring for example or it might be that we've, we've got a, a special exclusive interview with somebody maybe in our, our fitness division um, and the way we would approach those is um, there's constant dialogue between the video team and the, and the editorial team. Um, the editorial team would normally come and have a, um, uh, you know, a, a, a chat with the team and sort of say how, how is this going to work, bounce some ideas around, uh, make sure that we've got time in the schedule and then we would normally formulate a plan of how we're going to shoot it. What level of resource we need, is it one person, is it two, uh, the logistics involved and we have also a, a full-time person who works on the logistics of video production because um, that's the sort of thing you forget as well. It's, it is really important to make sure that um, you're in the right place at the right time, you've got accommodation organised, boring but important stuff. If you don't get that right, especially if you're flying all around the world like we do, especially with our, our motoring content, you've got to get that right. Where we're good in terms of video production and, and the sort of content we create is do you know what? That's what we do. We are a, um, uh, a specialist publisher generally, so we work in vertical markets and we spend millions of pounds creating um, great quality content which resonates with a target audience. So clearly there's some differences between how you produce content in video, whether it's the written word or whether that be digital print or whatever else. But the essence is the same. We employ fantastic quality journalists who really know their subject. They know their subject, they know how to produce compelling content and what we've managed to do is then add in some specialist knowledge about how to produce video from the video team. And that's why I think it's so important that you have a central team who does the video because it allows them to share ideas and experiences and make sure that um, when we find stuff that works really well, whether that be on our own owner-operated sites or, or how to really make um, uh, content work well in, in places like YouTube, you know, so that, that allows us, I think, to produce really good quality video, but around subject areas that we're experts in.